So after pushing through that uh, stock round, and not a whole hell of a lot's gonna happen in this flavor of stock round. Uh, some Santa Fe's got dumped. Uh, one got price protected actually, but the price ended up going down eventually and some of them, they all got picked up again. Uh, right now, and yes, I cheated here. Uh, that was a while ago. I saw it a while ago. <laughs> Uh, with the Southern Pacific picking up uh, a share. There's only 60% out, including that. Nobody else bought one. It's that. I'm just so used to the being able to buy one in the first round because people were looking for, cat, for something that made money every time and buying an extra certificate of something brand new uh, because the tra the companies come out very slowly in this because of the low amount of money that the six players have uh, anyway that that's part of the excuse uh, everything sold out except for these two the uh, cotton ball did not get any good press basically um, uh, one of the odd things the santa fe's got sold off for other stuff that wasn't terribly good. The Texas and Pacific, I'm not sure why people are holding that. I don't know how many are. I think just this guy up here, and he kind of uh, wants a diversity of different shares just so that nothing gets screwed. He's, he's looking at uh, trying uh, to keep the, uh, to keep his hands on everything. Um, now, if some big money makers were out in here, that would be kind of cool because that would help keep the uh, the amount of uh, money that's going to be taken from the bank lower. As it is, I counted it up. There's about fifty-five hundred dollars in here. <sighs> Counting this as a thousand, which is probably wrong, <sighs> it still looks awfully close. Uh, I don't remember what I came up with. Let's see. Talking 6,500, 10 companies, and yeah, we could have done that. Uh, so we're looking around 21, 22 a share. <sighs> I don't know. You know, <laughs> I really don't know. Obviously, the money that Katie's pulling in is much, much larger than that. Um, and it'll boost if they buy another train and get a run off of it. So I'm just not sure which way to go. But anyway, let's take a look at the cells. TP is sold out. No shit. I, I just find that odd. This guy had a, a premium on his shares. So they sold out a little easier. So now the question is, does the KD want to run forward or not? If I run forward, I think it's over. Um, because then we're looking, instead of at the 6,500, at 5,500. Why do I do that? Which is more like 18, 19 a share, which I think just about everybody's doing. I just don't know. <laughs> okay, well, for ease, I'm starting to spreadsheet out this round. It may not be the final round, but uh, I'm tired of making change with this bank. Uh, and I don't expect a lot to be moving around. For the Frisco, we paid out 23 a share. And this is, they were making more because they used to be up in St. Louis area. Uh, they have tracks up here maybe maybe I could make more with that big eight train coming through I can't come through it but uh, 6 12 16 19 I can't make it this way I can't make it through here can't make it through here yeah it looks like the best I can make is actually 24 not hitting my destination because my destination got cut off by these dots here 
and those dots are also making it hard for me to make uh, the run coming through here. All right, this was what I did, 90, 150, 190, 240 that way, 250, 250, hold on, 60, 90, 150, 190, 250, get up to 25 a share. And this is the annoyance when, when the dots, you know, most of the other games that I'm used to, not all of them, things get pretty steady at the last round and you can just play it out. But this one, uh, there's that surge of dots. It's going to get steady uh, very soon, but but not really because here the Frisco is trying to break its, its base out so that it can run up in Frisco land, you know, um, and hit those extra things or maybe make its way up. Uh, to St. Louis or whatever, you know, and that's uh, so you're gonna have constantly changing track positioning in a way you don't in 30, for example, which makes spreadsheeting less valuable because you can't really predict what your incomes are gonna be. New track laid up here, connecting up to St. Louis. And how did this happen? Ah, oh, yes. More track connects it in through here so that the cotton ball can drop a dot there and cut up other people's track. <laughs> Again, things just are so flexible, but it looks like we're hitting, at least in the top guys, well above the amount needed to crash the game. So we may well see the KD just run. See the trend continues mostly. The TP only made 18, but it hooked up its bell ringer which was, you know, another 13, so its payout this time is well above the amount needed. And then we also got, and I forgot to mark it, but I ran it, the SPs run, uh, TPs moved up there, SP over here. So they're getting, you know, healthy amounts of value to their stock as well. Really, only the Frisco is running it uh, tight. They're going to make it up to 375. They could have made 400 if you played with the option where the game ends when somebody hits 400. That makes the game kind of uninteresting as far as I'm concerned. I mean, look, it makes it shorter. It makes it, it gets rid of a lot of the problems that I have with it because it ends well before these trains ever have a chance of even being thought about. But... <sighs> It means that there's no possibility. Uh, the only way that I've seen this game drop and get really harsh uh, is when people decide to kill themselves to get the trains out. And it doesn't do it for them. Uh, you can make a good deal of money off those big trains if you have a tremendous route set up. But this game never seems to facilitate tremendous routes. Now, maybe in a small number of players where people strategically use their companies to dot other companies out and keep a little playground for themselves, uh, that, that works. But <laughs> when you're playing with a, a full complement of six or even five, I, I found the board just gets too crowded. There's too many people holding too many, too, too many of the companies. Here uh, we have what? There's 10 companies, six players. Uh, that means should be four people with double companies and that's what we have this time. Uh, but a double company isn't enough. Now, if you're playing with four players, there's good chances that people have three companies each. Uh, so, and also companies become more disposable when there's that many. So maybe, you know, you'd risk dumping something that's just helpless to you. Although I don't think anything's helpless in this because you can always just keep running it in the yellow section. Um, like in 1830. 1856, there's good reason to try to close a company because there's companies that just, if you're holding on a, a couple of shares, may not be worth basically anything to you. They're worth a share in the Canadian National, and if you can dump it in there into the closed, it may be just as good. Uh, and it could be much worse than a share of the Canadian. A share of the Canadian National is fine if you end up without that option, but. In this one, you know, the trains just don't come hard enough that usually you have to pay too heavily. Plus, to get yourself into the closed requires the level of planning that is required to get a good train set up, I think. It's really hard to do. Uh, 
you really have to devote yourself to getting your company closed usually. Unless somebody helps the hell out of you if you're down here in the yellow and they just dump you right down there. But you were probably using a yellow strategy then. And Except the last couple of runs, the triangle of love or whatever replaces the horns of happiness here. So the CB uh, in Q ends up getting its bell ringer. It was a pretty crappy bell ringer. Um, they only ran for 18. I think their bell ringer was like 23. Uh, that would make sense, five bucks more, because uh, they're running only a five train, so that's not too bad. The Katie Kim's, nah, uh, the SP went in here and upgraded itself. They're running at 23. You can see most of them are in, in about the same place. The Katie with its huge eight train and tons of money, uh, they, they have like 500 bucks. We get to about 900 between these two. Now this is really problematic because, you know, I could swallow, partial swallow or whatever, and get enough money for that bigger train. Um, it probably is actually worth it. Even if I'm not making all the run, even if I'm not getting the extra run. Um, so I may want to think about that. I, I'm not going to get it off the 130 though. I have to buy a train off the IC and crash that for a turn. And that's where the problem comes. If it was just the Katie doing this, the extra money being made here, it would be worthwhile. But I don't have enough to just do a partial swallow or even a full swallow and get, uh, get that big 10 train. And the 10 train isn't gonna do much. It doesn't crash anything. There's another 10 out there, so nobody else has the opportunity to crash anything. All it's gonna do is set me back, you know, this money, the 26, in the hopes of making that up off an additional uh, run. And that additional run isn't gonna be very good because the Katie's running this right now, I believe, or actually, yeah. Uh, should actually be jerking into here. I'm trying to get up into here, but that's not really worth it. This is the more valuable. Uh, so I should do, do a bypass here. We'll see, we'll get better money off that. Um, and, you know, I'm using, what, one, two, three, a five train uh, for it. Um, <coughs> or if I prefer, a six train, you know. Uh, eventually, that could crank down into here and over here, and that would be worth a lot of money. But I need some upgrades for that to work, right? I need to hit here with an upgrade with a, a tile placement, and then I need an upgrade here. So I don't know which way to go. But chances are, if I get this, uh, this in the upgrade, eh, I don't know if there's an X. Probably not which means I won't, yeah, there's, there's nothing that'll get me in straight. So that's kind of the problem is, what I need to do is I need to hit into here. And to do that, well, okay, I could swerve into here and then hit down here as my terminus. And that's not terrible, uh, but that takes two more upgrades. You know, I'm not gonna even get a run, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch my run and do the bypass instead. Assuming the track's there, it may not be there. <laughs> I think it's not. Oh, it is. Okay, so we'll be doing that instead, which uh, instead of adding, uh, that'll add a, an add extra four bucks onto my run. So instead 10, 13, 18, 22, 27. That's only one buck. How'd I get 26? 10, 13, 18, there's kind of no way out here, 18, 22, 27, I don't know how I got 26, 10, 13, 18, 22, 26, so I add a buck by doing, by doing the around. Because, yeah, I'm running through here instead of uh, bypassing this. Hmm, I don't know. So, yeah, I should get an extra buck. But it's just, there's no point in getting that 10 train. I'd have to work too hard to get it. Bank's going to run out. Uh, 
probably no matter what I do. So we'll just do that, this instead of that. As you can see here in operating round two, there are no big shakeups. The Frisco is making four bucks more around. I don't remember why. Uh, man, I don't think it has anything to do with that. Not sure. I found some improvement. Uh, but for the most part, you know, the cotton ball actually lost some ground because of dots, I think. The gummo made a big jump. Yeah, I think there was some kind of major, yeah, there's a major upgrade here uh, with the track around St. Louis that's helping uh, those companies. And now it's breaking them up so that they can come up around uh, across the river north of uh, St. Louis. Uh, companies like the Katy, which would love to be able to cut through into this. Well, this track isn't allowing it. This it just wasn't happening. I don't know if the upgrades are there now. I may have screwed up because I played track here. Uh, that goes in the wrong direction. Yeah. I only have the one available. Um, so track limitations are really becoming a problem because Katie would love to shoot their way up back through uh, Kansas City, but they're just not finding a way there now. What they're looking at is breaking out this way, over, around, and then, you know, maybe in there or something. But the best they're going to get is one runoff of whatever work they're doing. And right now they're just pumping out their 27 and paying out. And everybody's just pumping out their kind of middling incomes and paying out without anything huge kind of busting out. Nobody's got any really awesome new trains. There are reactions to the dots, but for the most part, the dots have all fallen. I think we only have one left, uh, a CB and Q dot, which they actually have the money. They may close this down, except the people who are using it are the uh, New Orleans guys, and I'm not too worried about them. Uh, there really is nowhere else that I could put a dot that it could have any effect in the play. This has been kind of truncated where it is. So I may just put this just to be a dick. A whole hell of a lot changed in the final runs, although the KD managed to get up in here playing through this stuff in a way that was effective. Got him an extra six bucks a share on the run up to 33. Uh, I don't think anybody else got any major changes. Uh, four bucks a share on the Frisco. Why are they, they, again, the big eight train beginning to clear up some spaces by building all this complex track uh, to get around the cities. Although some of this can only be used by the big eights because it's got doinkers all over. I had somebody with not a, with a six running through here still though. I think the gummo, which was making pretty good money actually, uh, made the most out of anybody. It totaled up to 841, which is 8,410 bucks. We know the bank's not that big, but I had to subtract the shares that are sitting out here. And we came out to a little uh, south of 8,000. This thing's right around 5,000. I re-scanned it. Um, it might be a little more, it might be a little less, but it's nowhere near 8,000. So the bank crashes, the game's over, it's time to calculate. And we have all the runs listed here, we have the prices up there, so we'll spreadsheet out uh, what the different players have for their holdings. Um, Katie able to, you know, pull its way out and get a fair percentage on that, that additional money. It was definitely important to not be swallowing. In addition, the Katie made about what everybody else is making okay, with its mighty eight train just because the track in this unless you've got companies working together really hard uh which usually won't happen with multiple players running the companies uh the runs just don't pan out well for the big trains <laughs> going out of your way for them doesn't pay off uh, what you really want as your goal in this game in six players is if you can get a pair of fives just like in 1830. The only thing is, if you, if a couple of people collect up a couple of fives, it actually becomes plausible for someone to bring the 12 out. Uh, I, again, if people are all running down in the yellow, yeah, maybe they'll be able to bring their 12 out, but I bet you they lose to the guy who just runs his company well uh, throughout the game. Um, 
because they will have to take such a hit on their finances to get it there. Unless like the operating rounds just break in such a perfect fashion that, you know, the bank is like just short of breaking here because they've pushed it out. They've gotten basically, uh, you know, more than one complete set of operating rounds to run that thing hard. Uh, but that seems really unlikely. But if enough people are buying these, they give a huge influx of cash into the, into the um, bank at, at the moment where it needs it. But I've seen, uh, I've seen situations where a few people get 12s and it just does not do them any good. And it doesn't do any good for the guys who swallowed to get 10s to make it happen. You know? uh, the only time that ever happens is when people are forced to buy some of the really big trains and then other people who were probably able to win anyway force them deeper into debt uh, or force someone else uh, in, into a bad position. Usually they've taken themselves down along with it. So anyway, let's come back and uh, see what the actual scores are. My money's still on this guy because running the KD in the yellow without running it so hot that, you know, it would get extra trains for him without taking those extra swallows. He's in pretty good shape. The question is, though, some other people turned over some pretty good money. The guy with the Mizpac turned over some pretty damn good money. Uh, and his Texas Pacifics are actually ahead of the Mizpac in share value because he was able to start the company. If you look, though, payout, the Mizpac is one of the big boys at 102 because he's running this and he's running down in here as well. He's got one big run able, able to take all of that. That doesn't always develop that way. Sometimes the middle track just never gets built properly. Strong and steady wins it. Uh, our player with the Frisco. First company out of the gate. Started out, didn't do anything tricky at all. Uh, ran to his location, had a good train set up for a while. He's a little ahead and how did he do it? Well. Obviously, his stock value is huge, but player one stock value isn't too far behind with those extra KD shares he had invested. In terms of cash on hand, though, that's where it comes out big. This guy didn't have a lot of cash because those KDs weren't producing at full value. Um, and remember, he didn't have his full stock portfolio. Uh, he had more than 11 certificates, but with some of them only producing half, it probably worked out about equivalent to what other people were able to do. And it just turned out stock value of one company is good enough in this situation. It's only, I don't know, what, 70 points ahead there, but a goodly amount of money. Uh, and that stock value, you know, got twiddled around a little bit with sucking shares in so that he had money to buy attractive things during his swallow periods and everything. And then for the final runs, everybody's very close with two exceptions. One was uh, this guy holding the Katy. He's got, you know, it's pumping out full. This is his round when he gets his big money, when he comes out of the yellow. I thought he was holding even with everyone else uh, while he had the shares in the yellow. But without the bonus trains, without the big run or whatever that you might get out of that, it wasn't enough. Uh, although it did get him into a close second place, you can see. We're only like 50 bucks apart here. Coming behind that, it's quite a bit behind. 700 bucks back here uh, for player two. It was the guy who dumped the Miz pack, would have rather been able to hold it. It's a good company. It actually ended up making player three have uh, a fairly high run. And this guy over here with a lot of investment in very heavy companies. Actually, the Miz pack isn't what made it. It's the Santa Fe's. So uh, a, a company that had good established dots in, in these cases, the Gummo, the Santa Fe, the Frisco, the Katy, these all were companies that started fairly early and got kind of dominating positions in the important places in the board. Although there were problems, you know, like the Santa Fe didn't make it to St. Louis because he didn't get into Kansas City. But if he had gotten into Kansas City, maybe he doesn't get through this space. Now, eventually that works itself out. But early on, you know, in kind of the later 
mid game, mid, uh, early, late game, whatever, uh, this stuff was in here. And there would have been no way to get around uh, that. And in fact, this didn't go anywhere until the very end of the game. So yeah, the Santa Fe was pretty strong through most of the game comparatively. The Frisco was fairly strong through most of the game comparatively with its important central piece that got it down its place near its, uh, near it, near its destination. It had enough dots so that it gets into Kansas City, which wasn't that important because that got blocked off. But it looked like it might be. And, you know, there's almost always a route around these eventually. It just takes a long time for those to actually come out. So that dot may not have been the best choice. Uh, this dot might have been better, but then he has this. He can't run through Kansas City anymore. <laughs> it just becomes a destination, which is good in the mid game, but then in the late game, when he's running an eight, or perhaps bigger, but those just, those big trains, it was hard finding an eight train space, right? Anyway, I'm not absolutely uh, floored by this. As we were going, I was seeing this guy was getting about as much cash on hand as this guy had and he had this huge stock value accumulating. The problem for this guy, he had a, a good position when he sold the Miz pack, but the Texas and Pacific just, it rots. You know, it and the SP are always such loser rails because their destination is in such a shitty place. They can't make big money off their, their bell ringer unless somebody for some reason sets them up beforehand, which might happen if, uh, you know, let's say you have the gummo and you're looking at, well, I'd like, I have priority. I'd like to start the SP. Maybe they can work together, whatever, you know. Uh, but somebody else gets to ride along with whatever you built up there. Whoever's in the TP is going to get it too. So, I, you know, that kind of, uh, that kind of trying to set things up for a specific company usually doesn't work too well. Maybe if one of the two starts early, like the Texas and Pacific for some reason starts early, although... You know, it's not like these 50s are out here early. You've just got crap out here early. Whereas up here, you're hitting some good stuff. Uh, you know, Chicago is pretty good rating, even right at the very beginning. If somebody could, if this guy had started, been able to start the Miz Pack with his minor, uh, with his private company, if he could have gotten somebody to agree to go along with that, they would have ridden some good big money. And I bet you both of them would have been amongst. Uh, the top players. But as it is, I'm kind of impressed that he's not further behind than he is. Uh, but he was making good money, you know. His run, his shares are as good as everyone else's. His stock value is as good as everyone else's. That tends to be the case in most of these games. Well, stock value is not always that easy. You, in an 1830 game, sometimes uh, there's one branch, you know, two or three companies that are doing really well in the stock market and the rest are kind of kind of in a middling area. Here we had one run away and then most of them in very strong position. And then the KD, but you know, and, and, and the SP, that's not very good either. Um, but anyway, <sighs> tedious, but not as bad as most games of it because the bank ended it early. Uh, usually I'm looking at another three operating rounds because somebody manages to get a little bit more cash into here. It doesn't help them one bit. Uh, they buy a train, maybe a couple people buy a train. It pushes it another, another uh, set of operating rounds where there's nothing good. There's no new routes. You're, you're struggling to try to inch your way through and everything. I hate that part of the game. And uh, in general, this game far too often provides uh, an extra three operating rounds of real tedium where there's nobody's getting any stocks. Nothing's really changing. The trains aren't going to be destroyed because you don't make it to the 12s. <laughs> Usually... Uh, this is what it comes to is somebody could buy that last that first 10 train and maybe two people could but getting that 12 out is just it's just too much you know I, I guess if everybody runs real hard for the big trains for whatever reason you could get to them but I can't imagine that that would work uh, I think even one person trying to 
just play a conservative game like the Frisco did here is gonna is gonna blow away people who are uh, throwing too much money in for those trains. But it's gonna be a long, tedious game. 